Hello everyone, this is the Fierce Taco Demon. This is the third part of my talk through of Nafir's Reign, Invasion of the Dark Mistress. Now, I did have a live uh, commentary, but uh, it sounded all muffled up and it would be hard to hear what I'm saying, so I need to do it all over again. And besides, I believe I have to improve on it too. Anyways, uh, previous episode, pig cops stabbed us and are, have attempted to fry our asses with the electric chair. Unfortunately, they suck at keeping us in the electric chair. I easily walked out of that electric chair with very little damage. Anyways, for today's episode, I'm using Sinako Eno, one of the main protagonists from Sailor Moon. Yes, Sailor Moon, the TV series aka the anime. Although personally, uh, I prefer if uh, anime be kept as close to its Japanese counterpart as it can possibly be. But uh, enough about that. Uh, anyways, uh, Minako, uh, she does more damage using hit scan attacks. Hit scan as in attacks from pistols and shotguns. And I don't mean other hit scan attacks like uh, the expanders hit scan attacking ability. Minako is also a very high jumper. In fact, uh, she jumps just as high as Bubsy, but not as high as Paula Polestar. Also, Minako has access to three forms. Her civilian form, her sailor senshi form, and a balanced form. In civilian form, she does about 200% uh, damage. Senshi form, she has 200% defense. As for balanced, uh, I'm not completely sure, but uh, I believe it's the best of both the uh, civilian and senshi, but uh, Minako has to use MP to keep that form up as long as she can. Well, that's for a later version, but there's no MP in this version yet. Uh, MP as in magic or mystic points. Anyways, uh, after I clear out this room and stuff, uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, menu system. Oh yeah, and uh, another thing I want to do is uh, go for the infamous marine secret. Kill this off the brain. Now here, I chose Duke Nukem just so I can get him to say the line he does in Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. Wait for it. That's one Doom Space Marine. Yep, that's certainly one Doom Space Marine, but I don't think it's the same Marine that came from Strife Tomb. Although, it could be. Despite, uh, or whatever happened at the end of the last known episode of Strife Tunes, uh, like, I'm sure some of you already know about it anyways. Uh, but if you don't, I want you to watch Strife Tunes now by going to stripestrips.com. Oh yeah, and that item that's there, that's a continue. How the continue works is, uh, if the entire party is killed, then it's automatically revived with full health. Yes, the entire party is revived with full health. And as long as you have continues, you can keep on going. Now on to the rest of the menu. The first menu houses the 16 characters. That is, uh, the 15 normal ones, and also the riot tank, which counts as a character right now. So you can use uh, med kits and armor on it uh, as well to heal it. This is the items menu. It houses all the consumable items, the special items, and also the equipables. However, I'd like to suggest to Lord Misfit to set a cap on the items uh, so people don't do stuff like carry a hundred super atoms all the way to the end of the game. Here is the special items box. It has uh, the, the special armors uh, and items you cannot use. And uh, what I'm highlighting right now are extra life t-shirts for Bubsy. And here is the teleport beacon. You set it down on the ground and then uh, you can activate it and teleport in the exact same spot you left the teleport beacon at. This screen is the equipables, but we don't have any equipables. So let's go to system. Here you can set the variables uh, for specific uh, in-game options, debug variables, uh, and stuff. Okay, one of 
Now, this is the status screen. It shows the status for the current character you have selected. Their HP, their AP, attack, defense, speed, air jumps, how much ammo they have per weapon, all that stuff. Now, the next menu option is skills. However, Minako has no skills yet, so let's go to a character that has skills and uh, see what it looks like. For example, Ted Maldarez, he has three different skills. Let's see if we can try one, although I'm not sure it worked on the character I have selected. Uh, I doubt it did. Anyways, uh, on, so, next is equipment. Any equipables you get, uh, you can give to them. Depending on the difficulty, you can equip only a certain amount to uh, them at once. Alright, now that we covered that, uh, I'm going to show the final option here. The final option being world tiles. Throughout the mod, you're going to encounter world tiles uh, that are used for loading screen replacements. There's about 128 or so in all, and it's worth it to find each and every one of them. Find them if you can, although right now uh, they're all in the uh, warp zoo map. So you can just pick them all up uh, in quick succession there. Uh, I think I said it wrong. Anyways, let's continue on with the game. Anyways, let's continue on. Take care of that pig cop. Uh, oh, it's an invincible pig cop. Really. I'm hoping for a character that does not get killed instantly by an icon of defender wearing enemy. But one can dream, can't they? That doesn't mean the that character would uh, appear anytime soon in this mod. There's another right tank there, and I'm going to be uh, using it after I take care of all the enemies in this area. Okay, let's get inside here. Oh, then I remember that uh, there's not much uh, to do with it until I get the uh, yellow key card. <laughs> I like watching the pig hop running into the trip mine, even though they didn't die from it. Take care of this pig cop and, uh, and this pig cop too. Uh, I should have used the ride tank uh, to take care of them instead of wasting ammo taking care of them instead. Uh, now let's deal some serious damage with this thing. Oh yeah, the uh, green ride tank, it's not the only variation of ride tank in this game. Now Fear's Rain has two new types of uh, ride pig cop. One that uh, believes a uh, shoot shotgun and uh, expander rounds, and another that shoots rockets and stuff. There's also writable versions of those that you can use. The blue version obviously shoots shotgun and uh, expander rounds. The red one, I believe, shoots rockets, but uh, I don't know what its uh, other fire mode is. Obviously, the green one shoots pistol and. Uh, Lasers. That's all I know. Ah, right. Let's uh, see about continuing clearing out. Uh, take that, uh, pig cop. You and your post reckon patrol vehicle. All right. Uh, deal with the sentry gun, even though they're not a big threat. And uh, I'm gonna switch to another character and. Uh, give her the rewards. I'm going to be switching to Ami Benzuno. She's also from the Sailor Moon series. And uh, her alias is uh, Sailor Mercury. Now like Minako, uh, Ami has uh, three forms. Civilian, Senshi, and Valen. 
Anyways, I switched back to Minako and I'm taking care of uh, these uh, troopers with the uh, chain gun cannon rocket launcher thing. Uh, one thing I'd like to note is uh, I really wish the regular chain gun cannon was back in. Like, I have nothing against the uh, chain gun cannon using uh, rockets, uh, but I'd like to have the best of both worlds in the final version. It's a real good idea. Now, uh, get back into the right tank and continue uh, massacring some more alien bastards inside. And, of course, uh... I forget something important. And it had to be the red key card. Uh, what an oversight. But it's only a small oversight. It's not like I have to go back to the other end of the level to get it. 